Hello everybody, this is Lucia from the Pace Law Library. In this demo, I will show you how to format your appellate brief. Before we start, please keep in mind that there's two parts to this. In the first part, I will show how to create and insert table of contents and how to insert pagination. And in the second part, I will show how to create and insert table of authorities. Also keep in mind that this is a sample brief. And as such, this is not to show how to write or cite a brief, but this is only to show how to format a brief. Also know that you should still follow your professor's instructions regarding font type and size, indentation, order and titles of individual headings within the brief, or any other specific citation instructions that you have received. And for this memo, I am using MacBook Pro and Word 2008. So let's get started. I have a sample brief ready right here. It is written, I have read it, hopefully there are no mistakes, and now I am at the point where I'm doing the final stages, the formatting. Before I can create and insert table of contents, I have to insert proper pagination. The whole point of table of contents is for the reader to know which parts of the document starts on what pages. I know that for a brief, the cover page doesn't get any pagination. The pages on which the table of contents and table of authorities appear, it gets small Roman numerals, and the rest of the brief will get a regular pagination. In order to do that, I have to split the brief into three sections. So I have to insert section breaks and split the brief into three sections. The first section break will go right here. I put the cursor to the left of table of contents. I go into insert, break, section break, next page. The next section break goes right here for the rest of the document. I put the cursor to the left of issue presented for review. Insert, break, section break. Now I have successfully divided the brief into three parts. Cover page, part one, second part, table of contents, table of authorities, and the third part, the rest of the brief. Now I have to insert pagination. I double click in the footer. I'm double clicking in the footer because I chose to put pagination on the bottom of the page and right aligned. So I will double click in the footer which will open the formatting or editing part in the formatting palette. I will close the styles because I don't need that right now. And here is my formatting on the right hand side. That this, is, this is the formatting for the header and footer. Here the first thing that I have to do before I start inserting page numbers is to uncheck link to previous sections. The reason why I want to uncheck it is because I want to insert separate pagination within each section of the document. To move from one section to another, there is buttons right here where it says go to, previous section, next section, or next section. So in section two, I want to uncheck link to previous, and in section three, I want to do the same thing, uncheck link to previous. And now I can start inserting pagination first page doesn't get any, so I'll start with section 2, where I would like to insert Roman numerals. My cursor is on the right in the bottom, so I will say insert page number. It inserted a regular number, so I have to modify it and make it into small Roman numerals, starting with a small i. The next section will get a regular pagination, insert page number, by default, it, it's inserting numbers, and I can just leave it as is. With that, I can close the footer and move on to creating the table of contents. The first part of the table of contents is table of authorities. And as such, this will, this will be the first thing that I will have to mark. In order to create an automatic table of contents, I have to go through the document and mark all of my headings as I created them with either level one, two, three, four, or however many levels of headings I have chosen to use. In this particular brief, my headings are of three levels. 
Level one, which is table of authorities, argument, conclusion, etc. Then I have level two, and then I also have level three. To format individual headings, again, I will be using the formatting palette right here on the right, and I will be using styles. All the way on the top, as you can see, I have many styles here because it says list all styles. For now, I will say just show me available styles, and that way the list will get a little shorter. So that way I can concentrate on heading one, two, and three. Table of authorities is heading one. If I click on heading one, it will mark it as heading one, but it will assign this existing formatting. I need to change that because I need the formatting to match the rest of the brief. So by clicking the arrow down, it will give me an option to modify a style. And now I have a dialog open, which will allow me to modify the heading one formatting. I want it to be Times New Roman. I don't want it to be bold. I'd like it to be black to match the rest of the brief. I'd like it to be underlined, centered, and I would like it in font, format font. I'd like it to be all caps. OK and OK. Now I have formatted heading one to look a certain way. Table of authorities is already highlighted, so I can just click heading one, and that has been formatted. Now I have to go through the rest of the document and format the rest of the headings. Issue presented for review is heading one. Statement of the case is heading one. Preliminary statement is heading two. I haven't formatted heading two yet, so I have to click on the arrow, modify all style, and I have to pick what I want heading two look like. In this case, I'll choose Times New Roman, regular size 12. I don't want it to be bold. Again, I should have the color match. I also would like all caps. And I also would like it to be numbered, because I have two parts there. So that is done in numbering. And I will choose capital letters. OK, OK. And now I can mark heading two, preliminary statement. Next part of the statement of the case is statement of the facts, which is also heading two. Moving on to the next part, which should be summary of the argument, and that is heading one. Scrolling further, and I get to the main part, which is argument. Now, my argument in this particular brief has numerous parts. It has two big subsections, and then each of these subsections has four parts, so I will have to account for that in my headings. Argument is heading one. The first part of the argument is right here. That will be heading two. But the computer thinks that it's a continuous heading two from the previous section, so I have to change it. By double-clicking on the letter C, the bullets and numbering editing dialog will open, and here I have to say restart numbering from letter A again. OK. And it has changed. This is level 3. I haven't formatted level 3 yet, so I will do that now. I will click on the arrow, modify, modify style. I'd like it to be Times New Roman, size 12 not bold, color automatic, and I'd like it to be underlined. And I would also like it to be numbered because there will be four parts of this. So under numbering, this time I will choose small letters. OK, OK, and mark heading three. And as I scroll down, now I have all three levels of my heading 
at format it, and so I should just be able to mark the individual headings throughout the rest of the document. Here is another level three. Another level three. And the last level three within this section. This is the second subpart of my argument, so that is level two again. And now I have level three again. And once again, it thinks it's continuous from the previous section, so I will have to double click on the letter E, which will open bullets and numbering editing dialog. And I will say restart numbering from A again. OK. Scroll down to the next part. which is right here, level three. Level three. Now I should have one more part of level three. And now the last thing that I should have here is just a conclusion, which is again level one. So now I have successfully completed going through my document and identifying each of the headings as either level 1, 2, or 3 in order to insert the table of contents. I'm going to go 